welcome guys to the next installment of the changes of the donkey um, I thought that was a pretty cool intro I hope you guys enjoyed that what I'm doing today is it's a random Wednesday afternoon here in Cape Town South Africa it's not all that warm hence the beanie but I'm heading out to go on a camp just to I don't know go camp for the night and literally show you guys what we've changed on the donkey since you last saw it since I lost it the rig walk around so it's not going to be a complete rig walk around this is literally just going to be a kind of show and tell as to what's new what I think of this new stuff um, what I've changed what I've added what I've removed and basically just that kind of chat and show you all the ins and outs of the new stuff that's on the donkey I'm pretty excited to show you this uh, I'm very very happy with the changes I'm, I'm actually over the moon with the changes the views I've got the sea in front of me or to my right hand side and as far as I can see across Falls Bay which is pretty cool and I'm gonna literally be camping right next to the sea tonight I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one here goes a terrible view I mean check at this This is a Clarence Drive, arguably the most beautiful scenic drive in South Africa. So I think it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. So I'm about 2Ks away from the camp. Yeah, that's not bad. It looks like it's gonna be cold. On the sea, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be cold. So I can camp here, the downside is you have to get a permit first. I have to go back now to Gordons Bay, I have to get a permit, pay for the permit and then come through. So take a little bit longer then but yeah all good, no harm no foul, I've got all day, it's only one o'clock in the afternoon now so it doesn't really matter. Got all the time in the world and I don't mind doing this drive again so here we go. got the permit and unfortunately in typical South African style payment and permit are not in the same place so now I have to go to the payment office to pay and then I can pay and finally go to the camp it's now two o'clock I planned on getting here at 12 obviously didn't do very well uh, with that so yeah oh well permit sorted payment sorted and like I said, completely different places. And I'm finally on my way back. I'm probably, I don't know, 5Ks away. Deja vu, feel like I've done this before. For the second time, I'm now arriving at the gate. And we will see what the camp is like. So let's try this again. Here is my permit. Yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes
Yeah. Cool, and I can go pretty much anywhere, anywhere like, you want to go but to. closer to the office is better. Not better. Yeah. Closer to the yeah. office is much better. Cool. Thank you, man. Cool. Okay, so the reason they say closer to the office is better is uh, safety reasons. So, obviously, <laughs> it's not 100% safe, you know, being South Africa, I'm glad I invited a friend, put it that way. Doesn't look terrible, I can tell you that much. Right on the beach. So, I think that is cool. What do you guys reckon? I mean, it doesn't get much closer to camping on the beach than that. Alright, I'm not unimpressed. You guys can tell me what you think. I don't think this is a terrible view. I mean, you know? Couldn't really ask for more, could you? That is not the worst camping site I've ever had in my life. Okay, so as I've been saying to you guys, and many of you have noticed on, on Instagram and all the rest of that stuff that I have updated, done quite a few updates to the donkey. Basically, give you a quick rundown of what's happened to the donkey. So, since the last donkey <coughs> update video, I've literally changed the tent, the awning, and the shower cubicle. So, the tent, the awning, and the shower cubicle that are now on the vehicle are from Quick Pitch. Um, I've got the 270 awning. I've got the uh, shower cubicle, the one that comes in the closed case, the uh, Quick On Suite is what they call it and obviously the quick uh, quick pitch rooftop tent i am happiest in a clamshell reason for being happiest in a clamshell well clamshells just make sense for me uh, i am a tour guide i do take people on tours and for me where i sit is i don't want to have to worry about setting up my tent uh, it's literally all about the clients and being there for the clients what i'm able to do is literally just arrive at camp do my do what i need to do when i want to go to bed i undo two clips press up the tent and my tent is set up which is pretty much I'm gonna go with it's probably the fastest tent on the market to set up I'm even calling out the pop-up tents I've got a pop-up tent if you consider the time it takes to set up a pop-up tent yes you throw the tent out but you still need to go and get your mattress your sleeping bag your pillows all the rest of that stuff outside of you out of your vehicle and you got to set that up that takes time I can guarantee you this tent is faster than that it is the fastest tent to set up hands down this tent probably takes me well you know what I'm actually gonna show you guys I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna question it you, you, you can count it down from me getting up the ladder down the ladder and the tent done let me show you the rear of the vehicle that has had some updates so uh, Mark from 4x4 assist has redone the canvas door bags and you have seen this draw system in a previous video but basically I built this drawer system now it's got some tools and everything in here your normal sort of shower tools toilets um, you know that kind of thing uh, this one I typically keep for clothing for the wife clothing for the daughter and I do a bag on top the tents are still there Okay, so that's how that's changed. One major, major setup difference that I have now is I no longer have solo on my roof. I'm now 110% completely reliant on my flexor power solar panels, which I will lay out shortly to sap up the last bit of the sun. Okay, so that's my Mojave 150 watt panel, um, controlled by their own MPPT in the vehicle. So you plug all your extras into there. You can see the draw on your battery, you can see that the amperage of your battery, voltage of your battery, how much amps is being put in by the solar. It's just pretty nifty. Kind of happy with that setup. Um, will I go back to a panel on the roof? At the moment, I have no need to, so I don't think so just yet. But um, yeah, pretty happy with it. It seems to work well. Battery still fully charged, obviously from the drive. It wasn't really a long drive to get here, but battery seems fairly decent. But might as well you know it's all in the sun bridges in the sun now might as well keep it all topped up but yeah that's the flexor power panel kind of happy with that 
Now what we're gonna get into is I'm gonna show you guys tent and I'll give you an explanation on the tent and the awning and you guys can make your own mind up of whether the donkeys uh, had worthwhile upgrades or if we downgraded or side graded, I'm definitely going with the, the upgraded. But yeah, happy so far, so. Okay, one more update I failed to mention. I've changed the snorkel on the donkey. Gone for a stainless steel pipe uh, from kind of obvious all in 4x4 uh, if you're looking for one of these give Richard a shot they are awesome I love the sound that comes out of the donkey with this obviously it's not a v6 it's not a v8 it doesn't have that huge gut roaring sound but you know you can hear it I mean you, you find you're driving with your window open all the time just so you can hear that all in 4x4 very happy with the stainless steel pipe it, and I mean let's be honest it looks un real I really like the look I like the sound I mean check at this I think that's pretty sexy as I said, I'm super happy with the snorkel. It's done wonders for the look of the vehicle alone. If anything else, it's done wonders for the look. Performance wise, I mean, I had a snorkel, so I couldn't tell you if it's, if it's increased performance. I'd, I'd, I'd go with probably not, just because it's a 1HZ and it's the donkey. You know, lightweight, heavyweight, this oak doesn't change fuel consumption for love nor money. Yeah, that snorkel is literally one of my favorite additions all right so what i'm going to do now zero cut i'm going to put the drone up i'm going to let the drone sit about here i'm going to put this camera at the back and what i want to show you is literally how quick it is to set up this rooftop tent Okay guys, so you can see me in the drone, you can see me filming here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the tent, sleep ready. So this is literally a real account of how fast the quick pitch rooftop tent really is. And like I said, from opening to sleep ready. Don't blink, you'll miss it. how fast that was that's it I wasn't joking when I said it's one of the quick, the, the quickest tents on the market quicker than a pop-up tent for sure it's because you can leave all your bedding in there I currently have a sleeping bag two blankets three pillows I've got a comfort in there as well so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you didn't miss it okay guys so Leslie has finally arrived. Welcome, Leslie. <laughs> Leslie is actually going to help me film this. I would love to do it alone, but I'm never going to get the perspectives right. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the drone up so we're going to get a shot from the top so you can see what the awning looks like from the top and how it unfolds and then Leslie's literally going to walk with me and show you guys how, how it unfolds from the ground level. Obviously, bear in mind I'm a bit short, Leslie would be the ideal one to actually put it up because he's a bit taller than me, but this is my donkey and I have to show you how the setup actually works. So it's pretty quick, it's not as quick as the tent, they say 20 seconds. It is almost 20 seconds for taller people like him. I'm not like him, so yeah, I'm going to go with about 40 <laughs> seconds for me, but let's see. You ready, Leslie? Let's do it. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. I think filming done for the day, maybe not. I think a beverage or two is necessary. Leslie, what do you think about a beverage or two? I think a beverage or two is well in order and a big ass fire. Big ass fire and a beverage or two. Maybe three. Today might be a three beverage necessary. a very very windy night um, tent held up cool I held up okay it rained a lot but I figured no time like the present to actually show you the inside of the tent might be a little bit of a mess with my stuff in it but um, other than that it's all good so um, let's start it off with this side 
custom case. We've got a light that you can you know, move around, pack away. Turn it on. It's got two different colors. So you've got your red light for your bugs and your white light for normal night stuff. All right, let me just open some more windows here. And then you can see a little bit better. The mattress is a 75 millimeter mattress. It's very comfortable, extremely comfortable. Um, you can see on the inside we've got pouches on the roof, storage pouches, you can put your PJs in there, your socks, um, I don't know, beanies, all sorts of other things, books if you want to read at night, that kind of thing. Pretty comfortable, three windows, access from the ladder is this side, and yeah, it's comfortable. I can pretty much stand up in this tent, so again, like I said, I am short, so it's a slight advantage of being short is being able to stand up in the tent. Let me do that. There you go. I can pretty much, I actually can stand up in the tent. <laughs> so, it's quite high, and as I said, really comfortable. So, also, as I said, you've got the light over there. On the other side here, down there, there's a USB charger and a cigarette lighter. So, phone charging at night. Obviously, you'd have to plug the, the tent in. Um, there is a Brad Harrison plug on the right hand side at the back and that comes stock standard in every tent. But yeah, I mean, how's this view to wake up to? Okay, so just to give you a proper view of inside the tent, I'm now just standing on my back tire. Um, it's pretty much the tent inside. As I said, they've got the bags on the top. Um, this canvas cover helps with the rain, it does flap a bit in the wind, but I'm quite happy with it. The one thing I am going to change, but I do it on all my tents, so it's no biggie, um, is the double zips. They tend to clink, 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 clink in the wind. So when I get home today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some heat shrink, put them around the zips, and that clanging will stop. So quite long distance, um, the whole distance of the tent is 2.3 meters. So now down to the last piece that I need to show you guys, which is the shower cubicle, the quick on suite. So it's pretty easy to set up. You can adjust the height. Um, I've got the one in the closed case. The reason I'm only showing it to you this morning is obviously we had a nice chilled evening and nobody needed to shower last night. It is a little bit windy at the moment. Um, you can peg it down, but like I said, I'm gonna quickly show you uh, how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to pack away. Okay, so it's a pretty straightforward concept. Undo the clip, undo the clip. Up and over, two Velcro straps. That one and that one. There you go, folds down. We start on that side, take it out all the way. Grab that. And you have an instant privacy tent. So pretty much easy to just have a shower or if you just want to change, you arrive somewhere and there's nowhere to change, no bathroom, bathroom's on open. Quickly lug this open and you've got somewhere to shower or just to change, as I said. So the pack up is as quick. So everything, you know, it's in the name. Quick pitch, it's in the name. Quick on suite. Like I said, I'm extremely happy with the new setup. I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video, seeing the, the new stuff on the donkey and everything that we've done. Um, yeah, now it's just to use the stuff more. I mean, today was, well, this whole camp experience was just a, a little getaway, midweek getaway, just to show you guys what, what we've done and, you know, <laughs> what's on the donkey. So, yeah, uh, as I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe and yeah, support the channel guys. Thank you very much. We do appreciate your support and look forward to making another one.